Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. Today we're going to find the exact value of the tangent of 11 pi over 4 using SARC. So SARC is just an acronym to remember all of the steps when finding an exact value. S will sketch the angle's terminal side. A for ASTC, which is just our acronym to decide which trig functions are positive in each quadrant and thus what our final sign should be for our exact value. R for reference triangle, so we'll find the reference angle, the special right triangle and coordinates that go with it. And then C for calculating our trig ratio. If you do need help with any of these individual steps as we're working through this example, I will post a link um, to a playlist that has videos on each of these skills, so you can check that out as needed. All right, so we're going to find the tangent of 11 pi over four. So S, we start by sketching our angle's terminal side. And do notice that 11 pi over four is an angle that is created by more than one rotation um, around the unit circle. So we want to reduce that to a coterminal angle for ease of sketching, All right? And so a full rotation in radians is simply two pi. So all we have to do is subtract two pi from 11 pi over four. And we would like that to have a common denominator. So instead of writing simply two pi, write eight pi over four, which reduces to two pi, but has that common denominator of four. So we know that three pi over four is coterminal to the angle that we are working with, 11 pi over four. It's just one less rotation counterclockwise to get there, but they share the same terminal side and that's the key. All right, so let's go ahead and sketch. We know that this is rotating in the counterclockwise direction from zero. Here's pi over two, here's pi. And so if we're rota rotating to three pi over four, that's going to fall in the second quadrant. If it helps to rewrite pi as four pi over four, you could do that. So we know that three fourths pi falls between one half pi and a full pi. Here is the terminal side of our angle, both of three pi over four and 11 pi over 4. And now we can use ASTC to find the sign for our, our exact value. Think all students take classes, and it's simply telling us which trig function is positive in each quadrant. So all are positive in quadrant 1, working our way around. S, so that's the one we care about. Sine and cosecant are the only ones positive in the second quadrant. We're concerned with the tangent for this problem, so we know that the final answer for tangent of 11 pi over 4 is going to be negative. And of course, if you kept rotating, if your angle was in the third, only the tangent and the cotangent will be positive, and then the fourth quadrant, only cosine and secant are positive. All right, now we can work on our reference triangle and getting our coordinates so that we can calculate. A reference angle is simply the amount of rotation between your terminal side and the x-axis. So the amount of rotation between 3 pi over 4 and 4 pi over 4 is just 1 pi over 4, which is also 45 degrees. So our reference triangle, our special right triangle, is going to be a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And the coordinates that correspond to this triangle are square root of 2 over 2 for both the x and the y. And we can do this in the first quadrant. We don't have to worry about negative signs because we already decided that in step two. And now for the final step, we're going to calculate this trig ratio. So the tangent of an angle on the unit circle is simply the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. I love angles that have a 45 degree reference angle because it's so easy to calculate the tangent and cotangent. You're simply taking a number and dividing it by itself. So we have square root of two over two divided by square root of two over two. So that simplifies to one, and we know it's going to be negative from the second step. So the tangent of 11 pi over four is going to be negative one. Be sure to check the video description for links to more examples or help with any of these individual steps. And thanks for watching.